Greetings, comrades. Hope this finds you well. Quick shout out to INN, the Indian News Network, which I'm a part of. So I saw a poll that came out, showed a majority of uh, respondents to this poll in the US, 52%, I believe, maybe it's 54, something like that, supported the US invading China, going to war with China if they invaded Taiwan. Uh, and again, this just really speaks to the power of pro-war propaganda, propaganda in support of U.S. imperialism. Obviously, you know, the U.S. government, uh, you know, super imperialistic um, and always trying to find the next, uh, you know, boogeyman to to talk shit about to increase the military industrial budget, etc. And then you have their, um, you know, the stenographers in the corporate media just parroting this pro-war, pro-imperialist propaganda, whether it's about um, you know, China, Venezuela, Nicaragua, we've seen recently, Iran, Syria, North Korea, Libya, prior to, um, you know, the U.S.-led and NATO-led invasion and occupation there. Um, so again, that's why it's so important to call out and dismantle all these this propaganda and, and talking points. Because again, that's just how topsy-turvy the shit is like the united states empire is by far and away the biggest threat to peace and stability in the world it's not china that has 700 plus military bases in like 70 or 80 countries across the world that's the fucking united states it's not china that spends more than the next 10 countries combined on its military that's the united states it's not china that has the world's biggest prison population that's the united states um so again it's it's all you know all this imperialist talking points from the u.s government um you know and you know their pals their buddies in corporate media it's just designed towards this pivot towards asia because you know they don't want china out there being able to have the wealth and power and resources it does because they're not beholden to the U.S. empire. The U.S. empire can't stand that, right? That's why we have all of this, you know, vitriol directed towards towards China when they're doing so many amazing things, when socialism with Chinese characteristics has done so many things, particularly for the most, uh, you know, vulnerable and marginalized in their country. I mean, they eliminated extreme poverty in their country in 2020 for Christ's sakes they've handled the pandemic swimmingly well they you know invest in other countries via the belt and road initiative while the united states exports bombs death and destruction via um sanctions uh you know supporting these brutal dictatorships all across the country it's not china doing that that's the fucking united states so again it's like a huge case of projection and I, I mean, I would hope, you know, that more people would be able to see through this. But obviously, you know, it seems like most people, most people are getting, you know, their news and information from the corporate media. Otherwise, they would, you know, a majority of people in this poll wouldn't be supporting the U.S. invading fucking China. I mean, for God's sakes. If something like that happened, that could literally spell the end of the world. Obviously, the United States and China both have nuclear weapons. Um, and if some type of actual hot war um, happened, like literally the end of humanity could be could be on the horizon very quickly. That's why it's so important to call out this pro-war, pro-imperialist propaganda by the U.S. government. Um and, and the stenographers and, you know, corporate media. Um, just call it out when you see it. Super important because that number should be fucking zero. The United States has no business telling China what to do at all. We need to get our fucking house in order again. So it's to be the land of the free in the United States, even though we're the world's largest fucking carceral state. Um, and what, 750, almost 800,000 people have died from the coronavirus pandemic in the US. In China, last time I checked, it was less than 5,000. And again, their population is um, multiple times bigger than here in the United States. That's why, again, it's just super important to call out this bullshit. And if we get enough people, even with small platforms, 
you know, like mine or, you know, the Gray Zone or outlets like Mint Press News, Richard Medhurst, Danny Haifong, Black Agenda Report, um, you know, uh, Left Voice, etc. Super important to counter these these lies and propaganda that are put out there by the corporate media about countries like China, Nicaragua, Venezuela, um, Bolivia, North Korea, uh, Syria, Iran, etc. Um, because, you know, <laughs> the U.S. is the world's largest purveyor of death and destruction. Um, and it just needs to, needs to be called out. Because, again, when people, when a majority of the U.S. believes that the U.S. should fucking invade Taiwan, if China invades Taiwan, that's hugely, hugely problematic. And, again, uh, war is not, war with China is not the solution. We need to be building partnerships, friendships, and collaboration with countries, with China, with the people there to be able to address on, you know, on a multilateral, multipolar level, things like fucking climate change. So we all have a inhabitable planet to, to live on, not drumming up fucking war with them for fucking bullshit, right? Uh, just disgusting. Again, that's why it's so important to call out um, pro-war lies, pro-war propaganda, whether it's coming from the U.S. government or the, uh, you know, the bloodthirsty sycophants and their partners in the corporate media, right? Like the video, if you like the damn video, subscribe for more content. Quick shout out to the two Uber comrades supporting my channel, my partner, and Indie Left News. Definitely check them out. They're a great resource. Peace. Much love.